we're going to put a 4B2 down on either this side or the other. A couple of strong boys up there. Right, break over. I'm going to drill. Sorry, I'm going to hoover while Alex drills. Probably be a bit of slate each side to lift, lift the lintel up a little bit because it's a 150 lintel. Good morning. Here goes Alex. Wednesday the 27th of September, 10 past nine. We're on this job, which is a, a listed cottage, which is massive. Look at those old floorboards. Huge. So Alex has brought all the gear up while I've been trying to sort the microphones out. This is staying a bedroom. We're punching a hole through here, lintel in, doorway through, so bedroom, door, here's the main man, doing all the climbing up and downstairs for me, thank god, I've actually got help on this job, and so, I thought I'd avoid doing a job like this, <laughs> here I am, in my, in my payback, <laughs> and so this, is this lovely big room, I'd say it's about 12 foot square, is going to be the ensuite. It's going to be nice. So the door is coming through about here. There's a shower cubicle to go over there, then a bit of a space, then the doorway into the. This is going to be um, studded and blocked off. We're going to put a 4B2 down on either this side or the other. A couple of strong boys up there, instead of doing the ceiling. Um, lintels downstairs. We picked up a 1200 and then took it out and put a 1500 in because this doorway is going to be 940 so we can cut the 1500 down. Alex, Alex has brought all the gear up. A ridiculous amount of stuff but I've got a um, laser level, multi-tool for the skirting board, hoover for when we stitch drilling and our levels. So we'll get first job is Knock a bit of plaster off, find the course above our little and get the strong boys in. So let's do it. So the strong boys are going in from that side? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll um, minimum of 2 metres and 60. 2 metres and 60 for our bottom of our lintel. So the nearest course to that or above. Just a tad more to the uh, left. Okay. Nine. Nine Move it up now because there's a bit of a bow in the wall. <laughs> Let me get these legs on the other side. Bloody oh, hell. <laughs> it's called character. It's all they call it nowadays. If you just hold the level up there. Great personality. That's it. Don't worry about the bottom. It's not touching at the bottom. Bollocks. Yeah, don't, get your knee off. Just hold it from there. That's it. 
Yeah, you, you need just bouncing it. Cool. There's our width. There's our height to the nearest course. We could, we can't go down, but we can go up because the um, lin, the door casing. So that's our rough guess. o'clock two strong boys are in the two um, ends of the lintel have been drilled out so we're ready to just whoosh, get that out so we're going to get the um, that thing is absolutely fantastic it's so light just it's just it feels like a toy doesn't it yeah it's so powerful just putting you up on the up on the ladder and drive you and there's no cord in the way. It's only 12 volt cracking piece of kit that. So like I say, the bricks are nice and soft, the line mortar's nice and soft. Would have been a lot quicker with the sawzall, but we forgot that because I was thinking we wouldn't be able to cut the bricks. We probably the sawzall probably would have gone through the bricks actually. But um yeah, pity that. So it's um stitch drilling all the way down. Saving all the bricks for a window that's getting bricked outside on the garage. Mm. We'll have a quick break and get stuck in after break. Right, break over. I'm going to drill. Sorry, I'm going to hoover while Alex drills. So I'm going to hold a nice foot in there. So I'm going to hold that under as he drills as I go down. Okay, time we on. Quarter to 12. Not bad. So that's all the stitch drilling done. That look, that's great, that thing. It's so much more powerful than it looks. A good, decent sharp bit on it. And then, um, so we're all stitched good now. We're all propped. So now, basically, let's just get it all down. Get the bricks outside. I've measured the lintel, so, so I'll cut that later on. And then we'll get that in. As we've been drilling, the other one's been. Is the hoover now? Hoover in. That's a cracking hoover, that wet dry vat. And it runs on the same batteries as all the power tools. So, yeah. Right, um, what are you doing now? Not the thumbnail. Right.
There we go. It is impossible to knock one of these holes out without making a mess. <laughs> That's where the stitch drilling helps. So it looks like a bomb site, but it won't be when we're finished. But you can see through the through into the window there, it's actually pouring down now. Um, Storm Magnus has arrived. <clears throat> So we're going to go for dinner now, take the surplus tools we don't need and then start clearing out. Once we've cleared this we'll take the next bit down. As you can see it's brook bond, it's just any old crap thrown in. So there's a few good ones we can say but most of them are crap. an old brick
back is really good. As you can see, horsehair. It's full of it. I think it's horsehair. It's good look. It's definitely full of hair. So it's, it's better than the um, the stuff you get in the fifties and sixties. Just falls off in big sheets. This it's actually got a bit of strength to it. And they uh, falls. What? Yeah, yeah they're full, yeah. Not many left, probably get around half a dozen out. <clears throat> Two more clothes to come out and we're ready to start putting things back. Alex has been a trooper we're doing up and down all the stairs for me. Well we've got 44 ones so far. 40, yeah. 43. We've got, we've got 100. Oh. <laughs> to break a window up. Got a big window to do in the, in the garage, out in the garden, out there. So the more we can save, the less you have to buy. And it's going to be hard to get these because they're very big, random sizes. So we'll see anyway. So right, back to town a bit. There you go. Well, we, we got to quarter to three. It's got to be a record that. Quarter to three before we hit sp speed bump. Today's speed bump is we got a 1200 lintel to make sure it's big enough. We got a 1500 lintel because the opening is 940. We wouldn't have had 150 seating. So I said, get a 15. So we actually took the 12 out and swapped it. And when we were sorting the van out this morning, I took the um, our big saw out and put it in the garage. So we've got no way of cutting that lintel down. So Alex has gone back down to get the 12 volt drill. And we're just going to take an extra, about 110 out of each end. That's quicker and easier than me going home to get the saw. Because we're probably about an hour's drive there and back to get that sorted. And like I said, it's quarter to three. So for the sake of taking that many more bricks out and making a bit more mess, it's going to be a lot quicker. So that's the plan. The only trouble is we've got to lift a 1500 lintel up into there. Ooh. So Alex will be back in a minute. Let's all look at it all hoovered up and everything. Okay. So yeah, that's the plan. And then there's a bit of patching up to do here underneath the lintel. Probably a bit, a bit of slate each side to lift, lift the lintel up a little bit because it's a 150 lintel and that's probably a bit of 170 gap. But the higher the better really to get over the, um, the door casing. As hiccups go, it's not a bad one. It'll be done in 15 minutes. <sighs> there you go. There's, uh, did you tell me about the oven to open? Yeah. Yeah. It's quicker than driving home for the sun. Yeah. But, um, Dad and I should get that fixed. I've, um, I give the van a sort out so we can pack it up later. And then I've just got Daddy's mix. So now I'm just going to grab some slate and then I'll um, just keep tidying and give, I'll just give that a hand getting this 1500 in. What do you want? That little tiny piece of it. That should have been 1240 but um, someone took the saw out this morning. What's the use of a fancy Milwaukee saw if you don't use it? You take it out of the video. You get to use your fancy Milwaukee drill? Yeah. Right, I'll get you set up while Dad uh, builds and I'll catch you.
I'm ready. Almost there. Yeah. A little bit more slate here. Yeah. In. It just needs lowering back down and touch to get it level. But we need a piece of slate under there. There's two pieces of thick slate under there, so it looks like a big bed, but it's not. Both those beds have got slate in, and then um, just points along the top. And because it's so, there's, the bricks are so dry, that'll go off in no time. And then it's um, ferrying up and down to get these bricks downstairs and a quick tidy up. So we're getting back down, back to time lapse while we get this last bit in. Lintel in, all pointed up. Never, never as straightforward as it looked then. Proper wonky wall that, so that took some getting right. Big beds underneath, but that's like double slate under there, so it's nice solid. So just, just the tidy thing to do, and we're out of here. It's get probably about half four now. Yeah, two minutes to half half four, so I'm good. So back to time, that's where we get tied up and then Alex will be here back for the outro.
It's done. A long fiddly day, but we got it done. What are you singing then? Fiddly day? A bit of folk music? Um, I'm good, thanks. Fiddly day, fiddly day. Well, there you go, that's one doorway cut out. Into the ensuite? Yes. Um, that's all I really have to say. <laughs> well, obviously. It's, it's, um, it's, it's a bit this way, because I've built it flush with this brickwork, and it's a lot thinner than the brickwork, so there's a bit, it's like a bit more built, probably double board on the other side. Yeah. But um, it's safe, it's going nowhere. Hmm. <sighs> I think I've done 40. 40 flights of stairs in total, it says on my health app. But um, yeah, there we go, that's another another Stephen Alex one ticked off before this one gets his hip done. You beat me, I did 36 over two days. Let me, let me check now, actually. And you haven't finished yet? No. 41. But anyway. You've got all that to go down yet. Don't, 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 time. don't tell me that. Eight trips. Don't tell Between. me that. Um, there you go, that's the end of this video. Come on, get in here. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed, be sure to give us a like. And if you're new to the channel and you want to see more, be sure to hit subscribe and click on that bell. That way you'll always know when we upload. You're right there. I can't stand me to tell you it's <laughs> And obviously, it's not necessary, but any extra support you want to give, there's the super thanks option, which we very much appreciate. Um, this is obviously weeks later, but last night our video came out for garage conversion. It's the first time we've asked for super thanks, and we've had at least five or six people take us up and send us super, super chats and super thanks. So thank you very much, every one of you. I'm greatly appreciated. But uh, yeah, so that has been Door Hole Making with Steve and Alex, and we will see you in the next one.